So welcome back to Virtual Done Well, and this week, no, we are not in the studio, we're in my home. <laughs> Everyone I know seems to be working from home at the moment, uh, but this room in the house has been converted to a very functional studio. So welcome, we are continuing on as normal. And what are we going to be talking about this week? Well, it's pretty hard not to be talking about how we should be managing our businesses in a bit of a crisis, so I'm going to cover that, and also a really good event that's coming up. So those are the topics for this week. Okay, so first up, what should we be focusing on right now as small business owners and entrepreneurs? Look, I don't want to inundate you with stuff. Um, my inbox is absolutely chock-a-block with instant experts on how to cope through a, a pandemic, uh, people running webinars on everything. You know, I, I kind of feel a bit awkward talking about these topics, but I think we've at least got to touch on some of the things. So. I am no expert in pandemics, I am no expert in uh, COVID-19, but let me tell you some of the things that we're doing in our businesses, which are helping us get through. So there we go. Um, first of all, and I, I'm going to say this even though it's very, very obvious, really manage your cash closely. Um, if, if you're a small business owner or startup, it's essential that you really conserve that. Um, because you know it could be some time before things are back to normal. Look, you, you may be lucky and you're in a sector that's just taken off. Um, you know, maybe you're selling something online that's just gone ballistic, but most businesses are seeing a significant drop. Um, and so you've got to kind of tighten the belt a little bit in most areas. I'll come to that in a second. So be really careful about your cash management. Um, in our businesses, probably two months ago, uh, we went through a three-phase cash management plan. Um, I sat down with the CFO and we looked at, you know, what, what are some of the first costs that we're going to cut? What are the next lot? What are the next lot? And, and went through. And I think on another video, I talk about this in a little bit of detail. If it's not on this channel, it'll be on one of my other channels <laughs> and I'll make sure I put a link um, so yeah, cash management, look, we're kind of well into this now, so hopefully you're managing that really well. Uh, the other thing I would say is focus on the core. So what I mean by that is all of those little pet projects that take up a lot of your time, forget those for now. It's about keeping your business running. It's about staying engaged with your customers, with your clients. That's the important thing for now, all that peripheral stuff. Maybe you can be kind of working on it if you have some spare time, uh, but I wouldn't be devoting your, your prime time to it. Um, the other thing is that, that you should be doing really now is to engage a lot more with your market, whether you call them clients, customers, whatever. Um, so what I've been doing, for example, is ringing up, uh, so my main business is a management consulting business, um, and what I've been doing is ringing up a lot of our key customers, not, you know, not trying to elicit more work, but really to see what's happening in their business, see what some of the issues are. Uh, in fact, one day I had back-to-back -back phone calls all day. I spoke to about 30 people, and that gave me great insights into how my market was really challenged at the moment. Um, that helps me you know, understand what's going on better. It helps me have empathy with the market, but also it helps me kind of think about what else can I be doing to help that market? And I'll, and I'll share a few things that we're doing. So let me just make a note and I'll come back to that. So there's a, a <clears throat> something really essential that you've got to think about here and, and it's pretty basic. That is whatever you are providing to your market currently, do they still need it? So are you selling you know, Mercedes-Benz motor cars or do they actually need right now a couple of gallons of petrol to get them home? You kind of see the difference. Um, people are really not in the market for the luxury car, but they're in the market for something, a quick fix that's really going to help them through the current, current challenge. So again, if you haven't done that, I would urge you to do that in your business. And in fact, um, this is on the Virtual Done Well channel. I've been talking to some of our clients at Virtual Done Well. So yeah, I have a few businesses. So Virtual Done Well, this channel um, is a, um, a virtual assistant business. It's a social enterprise based in the Philippines. So um, I've been ringing around some of uh, the clients of Virtual Done Well to see what some of their problems are. And, you know, they, they probably don't want more of what we typically do, 
but what they want more of is help with lead generation, help with their digital marketing, and so we're just boosting uh, that service for them. So that's kind of, you know, keep close to the coalface, whatever your business. What do people need right now? If it, if it means that you've got to adapt your products and services a bit, then do it because maybe they don't need your standard stuff right now. They need something customized to this situation. We've also done that in my consulting business, Logistics Bureau. So, you know, typically we're doing things like designing warehouses and, and um, you know, designing supply chain networks. Those are all long-term projects and people don't necessarily want that right now. So we've actually designed a whole range of products that we can deliver remotely uh, in about two weeks, which will help those clients get over the current uh, crisis and, and help them maintain service and reduce costs and so on. So we're, we're actually delivering a different type of service. We'll get back to all of that other stuff later on. So, so that's really important. Focus on what your market needs right now and make sure that you're giving them that. Not the luxury car, they need a couple of gallons of petrol to get them home right now. Um, stay connected. That's another thing that I wanted to talk about. So, um, you know, there can be a great... Oh, sirens in the background. Um, there can be a great tendency to kind of give up in a way as a small business owner um, and think, look, there's really not much I can be doing, um, but, you know, maybe I'll just tread water for a little bit. Oh, going down our street. Just let that go past. I, we do live very close to a major hospital, so nothing to be alarmed about. This is quite common. Um, it's a couple going down. Uh, so where did I get to? Stay connected. Um, so it's very easy for you to kind of give up, roll up into a ball and think, you know, I'll come back to this in a couple of months. Don't do that. You know, um, this, and I think, I'm sure I've said this on another video recently. This is your opportunity to step up, show a bit of leadership um, and support your industry, support your market. So even if you're unable to deliver, you know, the, the products and services that you normally do, you should be able to be delivering some, which they need, but also what you should be delivering is a lot of support and information and so on. So, you know, don't, don't be intrusive. Don't be one of those people who are just pumping out emails saying, hey, we can help you, you know, through this crisis with, you know, your whatever issues. Um, make it a lot more subtle. You know, just provide insights and supporting information and tips, you know, don't ask for anything in return. Um, and, and, you know, that way you're keeping in touch with your client base, your customer base through this crisis. You know, you stay in front of mind and, and they know that you're there when things normalize uh, and, and they can come back to you. The other, we've actually ramped up some of that as well. And I see a lot of people doing it, but you've got to do it in a way that adds value. So some of the things that we've been doing, for example, on our, in our logistics bureau business, that's the management consulting business, um, is that we've been, been providing a lot of free webinars with tips on what to do right now. And, and we've actually had um, follow-up support calls all free of charge. Um, we will do that for Virtual Done Well also. So, um, you know, if that's this channel. <laughs> so uh, we'll put that together in the next week or so. Uh, we'll put together a, a webinar to help out small businesses who are utilizing virtual assistants, some of the things that you can be doing, some tips and free support calls, just like we do for our, um, uh, for our consulting clients. Um, so that's one thing we're doing. Uh, another thing we're doing is we've got a, uh, a Zoom room once a week. Um, again, that's on our consulting business side where people can just join in, they have questions, we network, we share ideas and so on. That's really good. Um, so I guess what I'm saying here is that there's a couple of essentials. One is that, I hate to use this term pivot, it's so overused at the moment, but, but you need to, um, if you like, realign some of your products so that they meet the short-term need of your market. But also, it's not all just about generating sales, it's about helping your market. Uh, and, and you know, being seen to be helping your market, showing a little bit of leadership and support and, and doing other things there. So actually, that just reminds me of something. Um, you'll be interested in this because in that vein, um, I was approached oh, a few days ago to participate in an event called Opportunity Thon. So opportunity, T-H-O-N dot com, T-H-O-N, Opportunity Thon. Um, and that's on this week. So let me tell you a little bit about that because it's absolutely applicable. 
Um, so it's uh, it's a free online event. It's going to run for 24 hours solid. A, they call it Live Aid for Entrepreneurs, which I think is a, a great analogy. It starts on Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern US time, which is 1 p.m. Pacific time, which is 6 a.m. Saturday, Sydney, Australia time. And it's going to run for 24 hours. Um, and I'm, I've actually uh, been invited to run a session there. So what, what the heck am I going to be talking about? Uh, I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to share a little bit of my business journey because I don't talk about that a lot. Um, most people know me for running a consulting company, um, but I'm also going to be talking about, let me just find my, my bio here on the, on the website. Um, the three things I'm going to be talking about are dealing with the naysayers in business. Gee, I had so much of that in the early days. People telling me it was too risky and don't do this and don't do that. Um, I still get some of that. So how, you know, how to get over that and follow your heart and your passion with your, with your business idea. Uh, the next one, sales and marketing tips that actually work. There's a lot of rubbish out there. Um, so this is you know from the coalface, what actually works in my businesses. Uh, and then the, the last one, I'm not going to tell you exactly what this is about. You're going to have to tune in. But the most important three people in your business and why. Uh, that might surprise you. So let me tell you about some of the other speakers on this because they are far, far more well known than I am. Uh, Joel Bauer, we've got Casey Eberhardt, we've got, uh, there's 45 speakers on this. Tom Beale, Simon Bowen, I know well, he's awesome. Uh, Mike Philzame, very well known, he's great. Just, just jump onto the website, look, here's all the speakers. <laughs> Loads and loads and loads of them, and most of them very, very well-known speakers. Um, so you're going to love that event. Jump onto Opportunity Thon, free, 24 hours. Get yourself a jug of coffee. There's going to be loads of great stuff to uh, to engage with there. Lots of freebies. Um, after my talk, I'm giving away a whole bunch of free stuff. So um, yeah, I almost forgot to mention that. I'll put the link to that below as well. Okay, I think that's probably enough for this week. Um, I would just ask if there's any particular sort of issues that you'd like me to talk about, um, you know, in the context of the stuff that I know about, which is sales and marketing and utilizing virtual assistants particularly, um, do, do post some questions down below. I love to get loads and loads of questions. If you've got any comments, please do comment. Um, share, of course. And if you haven't already uh, subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell because that way you'll be notified next time we have a video. And that's every week, generally on a Wednesday, if my internet keeps going okay here. But we are going to keep production going regardless. So thank you very much for joining this week. I look forward to uh, sharing more with you next week. And I hope I'm going to see you on Friday night US time or Saturday morning um, Sydney time. Uh, because I'm so looking forward to this opportunity. Thon. Oh, before I go, this, this is crazy. Um, I put a post out recently about, you know how people have a, uh, a lot of people have a fear of public speaking. Um, the guy who's organizing this event, Opportunity Thon, Ken Krell, I got an email from him yesterday morning, which says, we've written a song. You know, it's like sort of Band-Aid or something, you know, where all the people get together and sing. He says, we, we've had this song written and all the presenters have to sing it. So I was sat in, in this room yesterday with a video camera uh, having to sing this anthem along with all, you know, all the other speakers have done the same and they're going to put it together. Uh, I, I'm amazed to, well, really intrigued to see how it's going to come out because my singing is shocking. But anyway, I put this post out on social media and it says, you know, are you afraid of public speaking? Well, cop this. Public singing is even worse. So um, yeah, if, if it's shocking, I've, I've warned you. I've rabbited on enough. Thanks for watching. See you next week and I hope to see you at Opportunity Thon. <music>